Um, you're, you're a good sport to go out every day and try to defend Bidenomics. It's like trying to defend a, uh, a fungal infection. <laughs> There's a difference between disinflation and deflation. Y'all talk about disinflation which I'm, I'm happy to have. Disinflation means inflation is going down. It means prices are rising less rapidly than they were. But that's a far cry from deflation, which means, which means the level of these high prices caused, caused by Bidenomics are, are here to stay. Here's what Jay Powell just yep. said on February 4th. He said he was asked the question, inflation is one thing, prices are another, and I wonder if there's any reason to believe that people will see the prices of things decline. And here's what Chairman Powell said. So the prices of th some things will decline. Others will go up. But we don't expect to see a decline in the overall price level. That doesn't tend to happen in economies, except in very negative circumstances. He's talking about a recession. It'll well, take a recession to get these prices down. Well, we don't have to get the prices down. Because we don't? Wages, wages are going up and... Um, a, a metric that is worth knowing is that the median American house worker but, but let me um, stop is you able get cut off. to You don't the, think we need to get these prices down? You think it's okay that bacon's up 20% under the, President Biden? Chicken's up 23.5%? Coffee's up 30%? Gas is up 44%? New cars and trucks are up 20% because people can't afford it? That's used cars because people can't afford a new car. It, they're up 24% under Bidenomics. You don't think we need to get these prices? Wa wages are also up, and wages are up They're more. not up 24%. They're not well, up 27%. Well, they're not up 23%. They're not well, what, up 31%. I'm, I'm sorry, but what is... People are really getting what, good at barely getting by because of Bidenomics. Look. Growth is strong. Wages are, wages are rising. Inflation is down. In fact, the costs have fallen from everything from a gallon of gas to a gallon of milk. We know prices are still too high because of what I call greedflation and shrinkflation. I'm calling on corporations to pass their savings on to consumers, for God's sake. We're making real progress. The recent Washington Post headline summed it up, quote, this is the headline of the Post, falling inflation and rising growth give the U.S. the world's best recovery, the world's best recovery. It's because you implemented what we did. You made it work. And folks are starting to feel it. Now tell me, do you feel this? No. Any feelings there? No.